Hello students. Today we're looking at uh, ear training. We're going to make our ears smarter. Uh, what is ear training? Ear training is the process um, that we use to be able to play the things that we hear, uh, to be able to figure out uh, a piece of music that's maybe a recording that you want to so maybe there's a cool piece that you want to learn and you don't have the written music for it. Uh, this also goes hand in hand with improvisation and just a number of just general uh, musicianship skills. So ear training today and specifically we're just looking at um, something called the major second and the major third. And these are what are called intervals. Intervals is a fancy musical term to describe the relationship between notes specifically the distance between notes. Uh, so there are two types of intervals that are of interest. Uh, one is a harmonic or harmony interval, and that's where two tones are played at the same time. We're not gonna be looking at that one today. We're looking uh, for our purposes more at melodic or melody intervals. So one note played after another. So today is about melodic intervals. We're looking specifically at the major second and the major third. Stay tuned. All right, we'll start with major seconds. Uh, what is a major second? Well, there's a number of ways to define precisely what it is. But at its base, a major second is the distance between the first two notes of the major scale. So if you know uh, we're all, again, trumpet players, but uh, if you know your C major scale, that's the distance between C and D. That's a major second. Now, that distance can occur between any two notes, right? It could be F, and then see if you can tell me what the next note might be in that scale. It's G, okay? Now, if you're um, a little more advanced and you know your chromatic scale, we can define it a little bit more precisely by calling it a distance of two half steps, right? So if we're playing C, we go up a half step and up another half step, we're at D. But for our purposes, just knowing your major scale is fine. C, D, okay. So let's just listen to one. I'll play the C and the D. So that's the distance between C and D. It's called a major second. <clears throat> I'm going to challenge you now, even if you're not a singer, and I am definitely not a singer. We're going to try to sing, sing that note. That's the C up to D, C, D, C, D. So even though singing can be uncomfortable a little bit, uh, it is part of the ear training experience. <laughs> and it's, it is critical that we're able to... We don't have to be, you know, wonderfully trained singers, but we do need to be able to um, compartmentalize in our brain what the what these melodies sound like, so that when we play it on our instrument, whatever instrument it is, um, we're able to replicate uh, those results. So let's take a deeper dive and see how we can hear major seconds in a simple way. All right, we already discussed that the, what the distance is, this interval of a major second. Let's, uh, there's a several songs that you may know or several exercises that you may know. You already know this interval. You kind of already have it up here. You just may not know it yet. So a good example of that, obviously the major scale, right? Those first two notes, major second. But that's not the only way to remember it. Uh, and maybe it's hard for you to sing a major scale, but there's a ton of songs that you know that you've probably sung before, many of them. So um, a good example of this one would be Frere Jaca. Frere Jaca, the first two notes. Frere. Frere. That's a major second right there. So if you want to find out an interval, that sounds like it might be a major second. Try singing Frere Jaca with it. And say, let's try a different note. It won't work so good. I'll try to sing it. It'll be hard. Let's do that. Frere Jaca. Like, I can't sing the song. 
with that interval because that's the wrong interval we're looking for the major second another example uh, alouette alouette something don't remember the words are french <laughs> but, but alo, alo, that's a major second right there so that's another song you can use to keep this in mind uh, what are some other ones happy birthday happy bird that's also right so happy birthday is a good one yankee doodle yankee doo yankee doodle now the rest of the song is important too but we're just kind of trying to learn how to here major seconds as quickly as possible um, so we've got the major scale we've got alouette we have happy birthday frere jaca yankee doodle these are all tricks that uh, especially uh, music students use uh, to, to learn these intervals or to recognize them quickly so those are great tips for the major second next segment let's look at the major third all right first let's define a major third major third is uh, the first three notes or at least a third note of the major scale so first three notes c d e the distance from low c to e is our major third let's listen to it If you're a little more advanced we're dealing with uh, four half steps this time so up from C one half step two half steps three half steps four half steps so the major third the interval the distance is defined uh, as four half steps there's, there's other ways of thinking of it as well but that's a if you're not sure that's a good way to do it um, so also with this we have a number of uh, things we already know that tell us what a major third sounds like. So if you've played arpeggios, and I think we all have, there it is, that major third is the first uh, interval in our major arpeggio, our C major arpeggio, or any major arpeggio. Those are the first uh, two notes, the distance is a major third. What are some songs? Uh, I wrote some down. We've got, uh, first of all, we do have the arpeggios. Uh, Saints Go Marching In. Oh, when, oh, when, the, oh, when. That part is the major third. S the Simpsons theme, right? So if you can, if you can sing the Simpsons theme, and if you, that show's been on for 30 years or something, if you know that theme, that can be helpful. Uh, Kumbaya. Kumbaya. That's a major third. Uh, we've got, um, what else do we have? Oh, the Jetsons theme, which is actually just a little trivia here, is very, very similar to the Simpsons theme, if you know uh, the Jetsons. That one, <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers that one, but those first two notes, major third again so let's on the next segment we're gonna kind of i'm gonna test you a little bit i'll be i'll try playing something and i'm gonna see if you can figure out if it's a major second or a major third and then i want you to play it on your instrument all right all right we'll start off fairly simple with this one i'm gonna start on uh what on your trumpet is a low c i'm gonna play my little trumpet to maybe throw you off with the fingerings um I'm going to play either a major second or a major third. You tell me which one you think it is, all right? So try to sing that back to yourself. Is that like happy birthday? Happy birthday. It is like happy birthday. Probably a major second. We'll do another one. Uh oh, sticky valve. Mm -hmm. Sing it a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, when the saints, right? So if you can, if you're able to sing some of these simple tunes, you just have to remember which interval uh, that they use. Okay. 
In the next segment, we're going to try some uh, different notes. All right, to make this a little bit trickier, I'm going to place some intervals. They're all going to be the same interval. I'll give you a little time in between. I want you to see if you can figure out if it's major second, major third. So let's start with this one. And I started on a different note. <laughs> let's hear that again. Okay, this is the same interval, but I'm starting on a different note. Okay, same interval, starting on a different note. Sticky valve. Let's do that again. Which one do you think that is? We'll give you the answer on our follow up on Wednesday. Let's try a different set. So. Maybe I'll pick up a different instrument. I'll pick up this instrument. <clears throat> All right. What's this one? Which song goes with that? Mm -hmm. Let's try a different note. Mm -hmm. Which one is that? Major second, major third? Let's try some more. tricky how to figure out which is which so major seconds major thirds in the future we'll go over some of the other intervals uh, just get a sense of those and there are usually little tunes or little tricks that we can use to help us remember uh, when I was in school I would write down uh, it was basically 12 different ones and I would write down a, a little tune that helped me hear what these different intervals uh, are like now, for follow-up students on Wednesday, what I'm gonna, we're going to do is multiple things. Um, I'll ask you to identify these intervals, the major seconds and major thirds, and I'm, I'm going to have you try to play them back as well. So I may ask you to tell me the interval, or I may ask you to play it for me. Uh, depending on your level, we'll work with uh, what is comfortable for you. So major seconds, major thirds, thanks for watching.